Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe. We are trying to get to 4,000 watch hours and 2,000 subscriptions. All right, everyone. It's President Ross here with RealClearPolling.com. Polls, fresh and new for you today. They say on the 2024 National Trump versus Harris polls, Harris is ahead by 2.2 points. She's at 49.1%, while Trump is at 46.9%. This is a huge shift from yesterday. I don't know what happened. It doesn't make any sense, but let's get into it. Washington State, with 12 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon, with 8 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. California, with 54 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. We have Montana, with four electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho, with four electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada, with six electoral votes, as of today, Harris has a 1.1 lead. It is blue for Kamala Harris. Utah, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arizona, Trump has a 1.7 point lead there, so their 11 electoral votes are red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Hawaii, with four electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Colorado, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico, with five electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. North Dakota, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska, is red for Donald J. Trump. The first district of Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. And the littlest district of Nebraska is blue for Kamala Harris. And some people, one or two people have asked, how can the littlest district of Nebraska be blue while the rest of the state leans red? Well, when you have a smaller group of people to pull from, the likely majority is what that district or state turns to. So that smallest district leans heavily liberal. That is why the second district of Nebraska is blue, to clear up any confusion. Kansas, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma, with seven electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas, with 40 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Now, Wisconsin, Harris has a 0.8 point lead over Trump. So the 10 electoral votes at Wisconsin, as of right now, will be blue for Kamala Harris. Now, moving on to Michigan, we have, let's see, according to realclearpolling.com, is where all these are coming from, Harris has a 0.7 point lead in Michigan. Those 15 electoral votes go blue for Kamala Harris. Illinois, with 19 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Iowa, with 6 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Missouri, with 10 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas, with 6 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana, with 8 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Indiana, with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio, with 17 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. West Virginia, with four electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky, with eight electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee, with 11 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama, with nine electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. 
Florida with 30 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Now, when it comes to Georgia, according to RealClearPolling.com, Trump has a 1.5 point lead in Georgia. The 16 electoral votes go to Donald J. Trump, red. South Carolina, with its nine electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina, with 16 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump, according to RealClearPolling.com. Virginia, with 13 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. Pennsylvania somehow is still tied, I think. Hmm. I don't know if I should explain this or not, but I think there's some shady stuff going on in Pennsylvania right now for them to be tied for the last two weeks. This state is heavily contested, heavily being battled for, because Trump needs this state in order to win the election. And in her two pathways to victory, Kamala Harris needs Pennsylvania and its 19 electoral votes to win the election. I think it is very odd that almost every website is saying that they are still tied a week and a half to two weeks on on these maps. It's very, very concerning. I think this is all by design, and I will say nothing more. Maine, the state itself on the top right, is red for Donald J. Trump. And every bit else of Maine, the first and second districts are all blue for Kamala Harris. Now, we are going to color in the rest of them. New York, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and the District of Washington, D.C., and the rest of them are all blue for Kamala Harris. Currently, this would put Donald J. Trump at 260 electoral votes and Kamala Harris at 257. But if you fill in Pennsylvania, that will put Kamala Harris at 276, nabbing her the election and the office of President of the United States of America. But if you flip Pennsylvania to Donald J. Trump, that puts him at 279 and Kamala Harris at 257, putting Trump back in the office where he was almost four years ago. Now let's make that a toss up, make it gray again, make America gray again. <laughs> or gray gray again. So this is going to be a winner take all. Whoever wins Pennsylvania will most likely win the 2024 presidential election. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out. out.